For the activity for tasks, you guys are going to end up submitting a completed answer sheet, task data spreadsheet, and an SPSS output for your tasks only. As far as a description of our data, you are interested in examining the relationships between levels of test anxiety, exam scores, and time spent revising answers on an exam. Anxiety was scored based on a self-reported questionnaire that students took after completion of a statistics exam. Scores closer to zero are representative of no anxiety, and scores closer to 100 represent severe anxiety. I've put a description of what the data entail by column. Um, you could also see in the spreadsheet over here, we have a legend for our sex variable. So males have a, a data label of one, females have a data label of two. The exam score scale goes as follows, uh, which is kind of like our typical letter grade scale. And then the anxiety scale kind of shows you what each of the values would indicate on a continuous scale from zero to 100. So zero being no anxiety, 100 being severe anxiety. For your tasks, I've kind of split things up into two sections. So everything is under a task one label, but you're going to do one analysis with all subjects and then one analysis using a split file command to uh, separate your data based on sex. For the all subjects uh, analysis, you're going to use Excel um, to calculate the Pearson's correlation coefficients for the bivariate relationships between all three variables. So you should end up getting three R values for three possible vi bivariate pairings. All right, so you'd have time spent revising with exam score, time spent revising with anxiety, and then exam score with anxiety. Using those calculations, you'll answer the following questions. These kind of, I have descriptions or kind of more detailed instructions here, but these align with the questions on your answer sheet. For the graph, uh, for question number five, I want you to use Excel to generate your graph. Um, you'll be plotting the relationship between time spent revising uh, exam questions and then test anxiety. I've indicated which variable is the independent variable and which variable is the dependent variable. And again, this plot would be for all subjects. Remember that you should have um, an appropriate chart title, axes labels for both the X and Y axis. Make sure that your values within your axes appropriately match the variable that you've plotted. And then also make sure you include a linear trend line, your R squared value, and the equation of that trend line or best fit line in your graph. Once you've finalized your visualization, you can copy and paste your graph from Excel straight into your answer sheet. Please make sure that your chart elements are legible. Um, so on some previous activities that I've graded, some of you have posted screenshots or very small graphs and I could not read anything on them. So please make sure they are legible. I would rather you have more pages submitted with a legible graph than less pages submitted with a teeny tiny graph. If you need to refer to the data visualization guidelines, these this is a link to the bottom of the document um, just to make sure you have all your necessary chart elements, but it also outlines what the point deductions are um, for your graph. So I would use that as a checklist just to make sure that you have everything you need in your chart. For the second portion of the activity, you're going to be doing an analysis uh, that splits your data based on sex, so looking at males versus females. You'll run a bivariate correlation analysis in SPSS, so this will generate a correlation matrix that you can then use to answer uh, questions six through nine. Um, I do want to point out for question seven, when you're interpreting the p-values in your uh, output, 
remember that the default level of confidence for SPSS is 95%. So that should help you figure out how to interpret your p-value. For question number 10, you're going to generate a graph um, using SPSS that shows the relationship between test anxiety and exam scores with both males and females on the same plot. So you should only have one graph total. All of the elements that we had in the previous graph using Excel should also be included in this graph. And specifically, I want you guys to add trend lines for both males and females. So there should be two trend lines, two equations of those lines, and then two R-squared values in your graph. Additionally, this isn't something that we ran into when I did the practice videos, but if for some reason the equations of the line overlap in your graph, you can click on one of the equations and then kind of drag it around the chart until it moves away from the other equation. Again, you can refer to the data visualization criteria at the bottom of this document as a checklist to make sure you've included all of your chart elements. Lastly, for question 11, Based on the chart you generate in question 10, you'll determine which sex's exam scores are likely more dependent on the level of anxiety they experience during the exam. In this particular answer, I do want you to provide any relevant calculations to support your answer. If for any reason you have trouble completing the activity, I suggest going back and reviewing the practice videos they are bookmarked so that you have easy navigation. You can kind of find certain things easily. So you can look in the table of contents for each video for uh, quick navigation. Just so you can see uh, what the answer sheet looks like. I've got the first set of analyses. Everything done in Excel should be uh, questions one through five and then everything done in SPSS should be questions 6 through 11. For your Dropbox submission, again, I've listed the three uh, items that you should be submitting as well as the file formats they should be in. And then this is kind of the breakdown of points for everything you're turning in. So total of 30 points for this assignment. If you guys have any questions as you go through this, please let me know either via email or we can set up an office hours appointment.